these iron grill things. I, I keep telling her they'll only get in the way when she's twitching the curtain. Well, any more locks in this place, you'd be putting yourself in danger. You'd never get out in an emergency. Did you want to tell her? Because she won't take it from me. She, she wants to turn the place into Fort Knox. <laughs> I do understand. We were all knocked for six that night. I wish I could do more. I thought you'd be a bit more blasé, considering the things you've seen. No. That wouldn't involve someone you care about. BLT. Easy on the L. Extra mile, right? Call the paramedic. Think I'm going into shock. Never even seen you by around. Professional courtesy. No hard feelings. You know you are working for her. What's she got you doing? Holding the knives while she throws them in people's backs? Look, I don't take bribes. I can't talk about it. What about the phone that was used to ring Katie? Look, don't put me on the spot. It's confidential. Don't be like that. It's not going to compromise you. It's exactly what it'd do. If you had a grasp of these things, you might still be on the case. I just want to make sure she's not in danger. Does that make me wrong? All right, listen. I suppose I can tell you this much. There's nothing to know. Happy? Fine. Stonewall me, then. I'm not. You wipe the CCTV at the phone shop, so there you go. Well, that's typical. Now you know what I was up against. There's dead leads everywhere. Well, no. The council got a camera that gets the front door of the shop, so, with any luck, we'll pick him up on that. Good luck with that. Waste of time. She's got us going through every frame of that footage. You ever did it, she's determined to nail him. Enjoy. There's a million women out there that swap places with you. What? To go out with you, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, I meant the whole My Little Pony thing. You all right? Is he giving you any more grief? Andy, no. I'd like to see him try. It's just stuck up here on your own. I haven't seen a soul since the main gate. Enough about him. I'm here to make amends. What for? Well, yesterday was an unmitigated disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I thought better give it another go. All right, OK, but listen, don't go overboard, OK? I mean, diamonds are fine, or pearls, if you're strapped. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of whisking you away. What do you think? Me and you, back a back, in the road. What, now? Well, I can't. I'd have to cancel a load of lessons. So do it. You need a break. You can leave it all behind. The work. Gossip. Andy. You love me out of business, you will. So that's a yes? Um. Yeah. Go on then. <clears throat> you don't really think he would have bothered me up here, do you? I've seen dozens of blokes like him. When they lose their temper, that's when you go watch yourself. Hmm. But he'd have to get past me first. Right, passing my diary. There. I don't know how Doug could. You could have thrown a few things in a bag. People have emigrated with less. What are you on about? This is just my makeup. Oh! Are you doing a flit or something? I was going to text you once we got on the road. I need whisking away, apparently. That's it. Next boyfriend, I'm trading up. I want whisking. <laughs> I just thought it'd be a good idea to get away from Sandman for a while. All oh, right, this is what you call putting up a fight, is it? Letting him run you out of town. Why waste my energy, eh? You can't stand me being happy. I mean, if I can't even go out without him causing a scene. Oh, no, you're right, kid. Sod him. Go and be happy somewhere else. You'll be all right here, won't you? Yeah, too right. Bags are your room, though, cos Charity's doing me head in with a snoring. No, I mean with everything, you know. It'll be fine. Anyway, if anybody breaks in... I'll set her on them. No fellow crosses charity and gets out alive. <laughs> this is the same about you. Oh. <laughs> OK. She's hard, mate's hard. Can we go? Oh, he's dead romantic, isn't he? Right, see you later. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. Yeah. Right, you've got five minutes to pack your bags. You can't call me high maintenance. I'm going to show you how it's done. Make yourself useful. Mm. Grab a few bottles of wine from the rack. Haven't they got a bar in this place? No! I'm not exactly selling it. <sighs> Can you not just tell me where we're going? All right, it's a cottage. I live in a cottage. Proper one. Middle of nowhere. Big open fields. There's a guy at work owns it. 
Where'd you put your corkscrew? I hope you're all right with sheep. Apparently they wander right out to the back door. What do you think I am, some kind of townie? This supremely organised exterior. Clueless. Almost. Ain't nearly organised. Yeah. Give me five minutes and we're gone. All right? I'm fine. I should be getting back. Right, nearly sorted. Just gonna check we're locked up. Okay. Nick? Um, can I ask you about something? You want to know about my wife? The drawer. I'm sorry, it's my fault. I didn't think. Why didn't you tell me before? About what? How she died. <sighs> it's all done. It's, it's a long time ago. I never even thought. I mean, it must have been awful. And then with what happened in the village. I suppose I could say forget about it. You obviously can't. No. It's all right. Love, aren't you cold? Oh, you're going to.